in Dubai for the first Dubai Watch Week here held in the Financial District. This event is quite special in terms of all the watchmaking events that we are used to because here the emphasis has been placed on education, watchmaking education. So we'll have uh, different classes, uh, master classes of watchmaking, you'll have uh, conferences, uh, panels, very interesting ones uh, that are going out throughout the week. Among the many things exhibited here at uh, Dubai Watch Week, uh, you will find the pre-selected watches of the GPHD 2015 and that draws a lot of interest. This event is really, really something special. Je trouve que c'est extrêmement important for the collectors. I think it's, it's, it's just amazing to have all these people in the same place at the same time. Every person that leaves with a little bit more knowledge and understanding of what we do is, I think it's incredibly valuable. The watchmaking has a so long history, so we can, we can explain about history about watchmaking, we can explain about the, the influence uh, about the watchmaking, pocket watch, wrist watch, and all of that, so it does mean uh, there is a lot of potential. Uh. It's a very good idea to do, uh, actually, that, to bring that culture of independent watchmaking to Dubai and we are extremely honored and pleased to do that with Sadiki. It's, yeah. it's really great. I think, look, the, the Siddiqui family have done something extremely rare. They've actually managed to get the greatest watchmakers alive here to educate. This is not a commercial venture and they've insisted on that from the beginning. This is to show the world what they, the Siddiqui family, believe in and what they want to share with others. Dans un monde de plus en plus euh, numérisé, je parle de tous ces composants électroniques qui sont fabuleux, qui nous ont amélioré la vie. En fait, on est en train de proposer de la montre mécanique. Hein. Ça a l'air un peu, euh, peu d'un autre temps, mais en fait, euh, on, on voit que ça plaît toujours. Ça plaît aux gens, la montre mécanique. Probablement parce qu'on arrive à se reconnaître. Et si on ne montre rien, si on ne fait pas ce genre d'événement, si on n'essaie pas d'expliquer d'une façon ou d'une autre qu'est-ce qu'une montre mécanique, et eh ben, je pense que ça peut, si on ne le fait pas, on risque de ne plus vendre hein, et de ne plus continuer ce fabuleux métier qui est la montre mécanique. I'm not here to promote myself, I'm here to educate people about the value of watchmaking. And I'm kind of of the belief that the more educated people are, the more they'll understand what it is that I do, as well as have a clearer under understanding of what quality uh, artisanal watchmaking is about as well. Since at least eight or nine years ago, we have not seen so many independent watchmakers at the same place giving education, spreading the word, um, doing workshops, uh, educating, introducing their art to the whole world. So I think we can really sincerely congratulate the Dubai Watch Week of having put together such an event because focusing on education and not only on selling watches was quite a challenge and I think they pulled it out really nicely. So again, congratulations to you! So we can really thank the Sediki family of having put... <laughs> Rugby man! Well. Still feeling a bit frustrated after this uh, humiliating performance by France, but uh, yeah. Ah voilà, tous les plus beaux là. Ah ben vous pouvez bien. <laughs> 